Hi, my name's Ben with Heirloom Roses. A lot of our customers who are new to growing roses wonder if they can grow roses in containers, and I'm happy to say, yes, you can. Roses actually do really well in containers, as you can see behind me. The key to growing roses successfully in containers is to have a large enough container, so about two feet by two feet is a, is a good size. The other thing that's really important is drain holes. This, this container has a good drain hole at the bottom. If you buy a plastic container, a lot of times there won't be drain holes at the bottom and you'll need to go ahead and drill some holes to let the water flow out. The key is you don't want roses sitting in wet, soggy roots. That's not good for a plant and it just won't do very well. So some drain holes are important. So the beauty of growing roses in containers is you have a lot of flexibility about where you actually put the container. You can put it on your patio, on your deck, up closer to your house. If you have a small space, you can move it in tight right to where you like to sit and enjoy your plants. The key is six hours of sunlight a day. But if your rose isn't quite getting enough sun in a container, you can move it around a little bit. It's a nice option. And then another thing about containers is it allows you to winterize. So you can, you can put it in a safe place for the winter to protect it from freezing. And it gives you a lot of options and flexibility. So let's get started on planting this rose in a container. The first thing to consider in planting roses in containers is that you're gonna have to buy potting soil to go inside. Um, we're gonna use our living soil here, which is our uh, uh, very good potting soil. It has mycorrhiza in it. It gives your plant all the natural um, nutrients in the soil to really grow and do well. If you're gonna use bag soil from Home Depot or Ace Hardware or someplace like that, um, it's important to find a, a bag of soil that doesn't have granular fertilizer in it. Sometimes that granular fertilizer can be really too hot for the roots and if it's been sitting out in the sun it all releases at the same time and can actually burn your plant. So it's best if you use potting soil without granular fertilizer. So we're going to go ahead and use this soil. Uh, we'll fill the, pl the pot up to about six or seven inches from the top. Then we'll put our plant in. So we're going to go ahead and fill the bottom of this pot up with our, our soil. And what I say is don't fill it all the way up. Again, leave it about six inches from the top. That's going to allow us to set our rows in the middle here and then fill in soil right around it. Now the rose we're going to be planting today is Earth Angel. This is off of our list of roses that will do really well in containers. It's kind of an English style rose that will stay pretty compact and it's very fragrant. It's one of my favorites. So we'll pull in, squeeze the bottom, pull your plant out. So as you can see, an own root rose has got very small, fine roots here. Those are very healthy. Um, they're going to take off and fill up and really get this rose off to a great start. So it seems like I'm planting it a little bit deep. I'm going to plant the top of this rose is going to be about three inches from the top of the pot. That's going to allow a little bit of lip around here so when we water it, things don't fall out. And also, I, we always tell people to plant their own roses ruse, a little bit deep. That allows for basal break from the bottom and for this plant to really take off and be sound and structured well. So I've set my plant in here and I'm going to go ahead and top off the rest of the soil around it. And I'm going to go ahead and cover the, the stems here up about an inch. So the next step is to use a top dressing and I really like using mint compost on my containers. Um, mint compost is high in nitrogen and it's a natural way to really feed your rose. Also, the natural oils and things in mint deter bugs. So, and on top of that, it's really dark and just looks really good on top of a container. I like the way that it finishes off and looks uh, kind of just, just the black of the mint compost really sets it off and looks nice. So, the final step and most important thing is to give your rose a really good drink of water. So we've got a watering can here and literally I'm going to go ahead and water this plant slowly until it starts coming out the bottom of the pot. If you do it too fast, it won't absorb in and you got to kind of condition this potting soil to accept water. So you're going to water it once now and if you're doing this in the morning, you actually might water it again later in the day. And uh, that should be adequate for getting this rose off to a good start. I would come back the second day or later on in a few days and use a fish fertilizer on this plant. Um, you always want to use a liquid fertilizer on your potted plants. We say liquid fertilizer for the first year on all of our plants, 
but when you're growing in containers, you wanna make sure to never use granular fertilizer. Granular fertilizer is very hot and it will build up toxicity in the container and it won't leach out fast enough and it actually can create a toxic soil environment for your plant. Liquid fertilizers will flush out and not allow that to happen. So we'll go ahead and continue to water this in. And it looks like the water's piling up here on top. What it's gonna do is it's gonna soak in and eventually this will all become saturated and the water, the excess water will start flowing out of the bottom of the pot and you'll see it in the reservoir here and that's when you can stop watering. So as you can see now, there's water in the reservoir here. That's a good, that's the good indicator that this plant has enough water and we'll kind of start conditioning that soil by watering it regularly. I would say some water in the reservoir is a lot. If it's continuously sitting there, probably your rose is overwatered and, and it's getting a little soggy. So, you know, watch it, let that water evaporate or go dry and then water it again. So this plant is uh, Earth Angel. You can expect this to grow two feet in the first year and have some blooms. The second year is really when it's gonna really take maturity and really become a full, um, well-developed plant with lots of blooms. And it's exciting to see this come alive. This is really gonna pop and grow and you're gonna love having roses and containers and be able to watch all the leaves come on and the new growth and the buds turn into blooms. It's beautiful and really fun to see. So other roses that do well in containers are Plum Perfect. I think that's a great one. I have several of those at my home in front of my garage and things. They're a really nice shaped plant that really do well in a container. Bolero is a white rose that will really do well in a container. Climbing roses can do good in containers and there's a lot of really kind of what we call short climbers that will do well. They're kind of an English style rose that if trained out of a container and, and put onto a trellis or a handrail will really look fabulous. To tell you the truth, there's a whole lot of roses I love and there's a lot of roses that will do well in containers. So we're gonna put a link down below to uh, a page that has all the roses that we offer that do well in containers and you can you can hop onto that link and find lots of options that will really work well for you and that you'll fall in love with. For more information on growing roses and to find own root roses for your containers visit us at heirloomroses.com.